Hello YouTube and welcome to episode 4 of my Bass City Save. Got some things to bring you up to date on and let you know how we're doing before we do our live com today. But before we do that, let's go ahead and roll that beautiful, beautiful intro. intro. Well, my plan was to go ahead and play the Himmel Hampstead match and then bring you back for the Tag Caster match and see how that goes. And we got it all recorded. Everything was good until I sat down to do the final editing and I realized the audio was messed up. So, threw that out, went ahead and moved forward. But we're going to let you know how we're doing with things. When I last saw you, we had beaten Mosley at home 4-1 in the FA Cup second qualifying round. We then traveled to Hemel Hampstead and our, our undefeated streak ended. Uh, we, I mean, it is no other way to say it. We just got outplayed. And real quick, just show you the, the stats on that. Uh, Hemel Hampstead, they, they just outplayed us every way, shape, and form. 15 shots on goal to R7. Possession, 49 to 51. Uh, fouls were pretty even, but we lost 1-0. We just couldn't seem to get anything going. I just get, I think the team was just kind of playing it, playing flat. Um, couldn't seem to get them inspired. Couldn't get it seemed to get much out of them. So we came came away, came back home with our first defeat of the season. Then we played Tadcaster uh, in the third qualifying round, and that was a much better match for us. It should have been. We were playing a side that was uh, much lower than us and statistically it was just total domination uh, our first goal was classified as an own goal it hit the keeper and rolled in but I think it would have went in anyway Greg Kundal added a second one on the 25th minute and Joshua King came back and scored in the 60th possession wise it was 59 to 41 Shots were 24 to 7 on target, 9 to 3. I mean, it, and it should have been. We we were playing a team a level below us, but I was really pleased with how they came out of that, kind of come back together after that. We then played Eastbourne Borough at home, and once again, just kind of played flat. I wasn't really sure what was going on with the team there. We just got once again. I think this time we're the one that got FM'd on it. We had 18 shots on goal to their five. Frankie Artis got booked, possession-wise, 57 to 43. I mean, statistically, across the board, this should have been a blowout match for us, and it, and it wasn't. We just could not seem to find the back of the net. So that brings us up to where we're at now. Uh, we're going to be playing, and if I butcher this name, I'm sorry, Leston, uh, who are third in the Ryman League. We're going to be playing them in the next round of the FA Qualifying Cup, the fourth round. This is where they want us to get to. This is the board's expectation that we get to there. We're playing away, so I'm going to go ahead and get the team set up, get them ready, and we're going to go ahead and play this thing and see if we can get past the fourth qualifying round of the FA Cup. Here we go with the two sides that are going to be facing off against each other. Luckily, we've got everybody back from injury except Nabi Diallo. I'm really missing him still, but Josh Hutchinson doing a great job filling in for him. Figure we're going to be probably be missing him for about another five to seven weeks. Hopefully, we can get him back in, get him into the lineup, and continue the great partnership he had with Shaquille Hunter. And we got Max O'Leary in goal, uh, Dan Ball, Chaz Hemming, Jack Batten, and George Rigg across the back. I put George Rigg in there. Shakiri Simpson has been complaining he's not getting, been getting first team uh, football, but I want us to get past his fourth round match. So I put George back in there, Frankie Artis and, and Billy Murphy in the middle, Josh Hutchinson, Josh King, and Shaquille Hunter across the front, and Greg Kundal back as my striker. They are playing in a 4-4-2, Marsden in goal, Dunbar, Somner, Richards, and Ainsley across the back. The middle is Francis, Lawrence, Everington, and Casey, and the two strikers are Abirmi and Ramadan. So I'm going to go ahead and give them their instructions, give them their team talk, see if we can get them fired up for this thing come back and see if we can move on in, in the FA Trophy, I guess this is, so, or FA Cup, I'll get it right one of these days, so hold on, let's get it set up, 
We've given them their team instructions and the pep talk seems to be gone okay. We got a plus one on most of them. Going to be playing counter. One thing I did change, I just want to kind of show this to you, is I've added present, prevent short goalkeeper distribution. Boy, I cannot talk today. And the, uh, it seems to be that's been an issue. I've, I've watched some of the replays of some of the matches, and that seems to be something that they're, they're doing is playing them short. So I want to put that in there and see um, if we can get a change on that. I'm going to change this to sky and see if that will hold on there. Looks like we're going to take the opening kickoff. Goes to Chaz. He pushes over to Dan Ball. Back up to Frankie. Josh Hutchinson. Back over to Dan Ball. He's going to cross it in, and we've lost the first highlight. Dan Ball's got a throw in. Billy Murphy's got it top of the penalty box. Pushes it over. Great Kundal, and he shot. There we go. Third minute. One, first goal. 11th goal of the season for Greg Kundal. He has just been a, a shot for me. I mean... That is the one thing. In real life, I think that's one of the things that at this point in the season that Bass City was dealing with. They did not have a good striker up front. I know Greg is just on loan with us, but he has just been a fantastic player for us. I kind of made the uh, manager at Gillingham mad at me because I said I'd like to keep him. I, I, but I know I can't afford that. I mean, I, he, he's worth more than I, I pay in a wage budget. But, boy, what a player he is. Maybe we can get him back on a year-long loan next year. Looks like they've got it over to Lawrence Dunbar. Jack Batten get a beautiful take there to Sh Josh Hutchinson. Kundal's got it again. Push it over wide. There he goes. Josh King. King pushes it out to Shaquille. Shaquille stops it. Cross it back into Greg. Shoots again. And there's his brace. Wow. 17th minute. Greg Kundal. Two shots on goal. Two goals. 12th. Beautiful setup on that. Shaquille gets it right there at the, the touchline. Pushes it back to Greg, stops it, sets it up perfect, beats the keeper on the near post. I, I just can't sing this guy's praises enough. He was out for a while. He had a uh, concussion, and we had to slow him down a little bit. But I am just really pleased with how they're playing right now. The 30 minutes in, we are pretty much dominating this game. Eight shots on goal to their two. Possession-wise, 58 to 42. I'm just really happy with what I'm seeing out of the guys. I'm, I'm going to kind of leave it alone. We've got three minutes of added time. No yellow cards at this point. No penalties. I am just, I'm very pleased with them. Let's don't let them uh, keep the levels up. I, I don't want, there we go. Gain confidence. Nobody is too tired. Nobody is, let's get, I'm, I'm really happy with how they're doing it. <laughs> Jack Batten switches off. Well, Jack, you know, lighten up, son. There we go. And, Kundal, you are just... I mean, they, they, except for Jack Batten, great response to what we're giving them. Let's just go back out there and continue what we're doing. I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Nine shots on goal. Two, two goals, 57% possession. This is what I wanted to see out of the team. We're sitting at 55 into the 56th minute. Not really putting much pressure on them at this point, but that's okay. I've got it set on control, and we're just going to sit and let, let this thing run. And let's say turn around, and we see a great spurt coming out of them here uh, to, to try to catch us. I'm, I'm happy with where things are at, and Jack Batten just got a yellow card. Come on, Jack. Let's go ahead. We are in the 78th minute. Josh Hutchinson pushes over to Frankie Artis, to Billy Murphy, Josh King. Nice tackle there. I got to say, that was impressive. Jack Batten missed it. Oh, come on. Here we go. Broken coverage. I knew this was going to happen. The way they were setting this thing up, they're going to get one back on us. That's all right. I'm going to have to, I think, pull Jack out of there. But he does such a good job, but he can be a little bit too aggressive. Billy Murphy gets it. Nice clearance there. We can't seem to control it. Come on, slow down play, guys. Josh King's got it over to Billy Murphy. Frankie Artis, he's got Greg Kundal on the break. And Kundal, oh, keeper does a beautiful job. We're going to get the corner out of that. 79th minute, here we are sitting on a corner. Cleared out. Don't even know where that one's going. Max O'Leary's going to get it. Bring it way out. 
And Greg Kundle is injured. Oh no, this is not good. Oh boy, this is not good. This is not good for us because when he goes out, the whole dynamic of the team changes. So let's put Kundle in there, get that and make that change. And, oh boy. Hopefully this is not a major injury on Kundal, because that's going to have a huge impact on our team. Let's go ahead, let's change this defensive, and let's slow this thing down. Take a breather. And in the back of my mind, I, I can't help but worry about great Kundal. When you've got someone that's at that integral of a part of your team, Clear it out of there. There we go, full time. We have just moved on to the next round, but I'm really worried about Greg. Um, very happy with the result, the way they played. Let's take a look and see what's going on with Kundal. Yeah, you had it down as a draw. We won. Great, great result for us. Now let's make sure that nothing's going on with my man here. Five to six days. Okay, another concussion. That's his second concussion. That's not going to be be good for us. Uh, but I think out five to six days, let's take a look at the schedule. We should be okay. We've got a match against Weldstone in three days. So he's going to be out for that. Let's go ahead and I'm going to just click through these real quick. Yeah, we won. Roundup, we got 12 and a half thousand pounds, which is great. These are some of the guys I'm scouting. And I want to praise his performance because he's he's just doing fantastic. And let's go ahead and take a look at the draw and see who's coming up next. Oh, I hit the wrong thing here. Pardon me. I'm I'm. And Jack Batten is suspended for a yellow card. So we're gonna and I got Chaz Hemming sitting on one. So we're gonna have to make some changes in the side, but let's see who we're going to be playing on this draw. Millwall, Braintree, come on, FA Cup. I'd like to get a home match, get the gate receipt. Well, there's Gillingham, they're in it. And we're playing Stevenage away. That one's going to be a tough one. But uh, that's all right. Let's go ahead and draw all the teams. So we're going to be playing Stevenage. Let's see what when that's going to be. Saturday, November 5th. So let's take a look see where that falls at in the schedule. Oh, yeah. What the heck? I know it's, it's going to be a short turnaround, but let's come back. We're having fun with this FA Cup thing. Let's see how far we can go. See if we can beat Stevenage. That's what I think we'll do. So let's kind of get everything set up and I'll close this thing out for you. Well, there you go. We made it to the end of episode four. Nothing like getting it a little exciting for us. Greg Kundal scores the brace for us, takes us through to the first round of the FA Cup. So the board's going to be happy with that. We're making some money, 12,000 pounds out of that one. But kundal has got a concussion. That's his second concussion. i got to be kind of concerned about that. Dude needs to wear a helmet or something. Uh, but anyway, folks, if you like what we're doing here, if you like the way things are going, go ahead and hit the like button down there. If, if you have not done so, let's subscribe to this thing. See how I do with this, guys. I mean, Bath City in the FA Cup first round. Who would have thought? Either way it goes, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for hanging with me. What do you think? Is Kundal going to be a problem? Is, it, is this concussion going to be an issue? Let me know down in the comments. Is it something I need to be aware of? Do I need to try to figure out a way to keep him from jumping so much? Either way it goes, I appreciate you coming by. I appreciate you hanging with me. And uh, I guess I'll see you back for Episode 5. Y'all have a good one.